。好，咁我哋頭先嗰條科學探究就係根據個結果就得出一個結論啦。咁而家呢一條呢，就嚟睇下實驗嘅數據咯。咁上年呢，不足兩成嘅同學仔答啱嘅。題目就問啦。以下 A、B、C、D 邊一句係最能夠解釋到喺一個 ppm 嘅生長素濃度底下，第三個牙段嘅結果就係呢個十點零一 mm 呢個結果啦。因為喺同樣濃度底下呢，我哋擺咗三支牙段㗎嘛，有兩支牙段啦，都係顯示到三十七點幾嘅成長，但係啦，去到呢個牙段三呢，喂，得十點一啫喎。本身呢嗰支牙段係十 mm 嘅喎，而家十點一啫喎，咩搞法啊？呢、這個題目啦，考咩呢？就考返啦，一個分化嘅區域對呢個植物成長有啲咩嘅角色啦？然後呢，就考下有關於數據分析嘅能力咯。我哋能唔能夠辨識得到喺數據當中嘅異常同埋數據當中嘅變異呢？咁同埋啦，亦都考返我哋點樣去分析數據啦，解釋個趨勢啦。咁而家就嚟做一擊破喎。a 嗰句就話啦，呢、這個數據呢係異常㗎。咁啊，異常嘅數據就係講緊個數據真係好顯著咁偏離咗我哋嘅預期值或者嗰個預期嘅模式嘅。但係啦，呢一句説話夠唔夠解釋到俾人哋聽？係咪真係 the best 嘅 explanation 解唔解到話呢？咁其實咧，呢一句就唔夠確實啦。咁呢一句説話等同於咧嗰啲講股票嗰啲人咧，哎呀，股市跌啊，係咁噶，少少波幅一定有噶啦。又或者啦，你做 SBA 嘅時候咧，明顯有個實驗，喂，個數據好奇怪喎、啊。我問你啦，喂，同學仔啊，喂，究竟個數據呢度發生咩事啊？咁你同我講啦，誒係咁㗎，少少波幅一定有㗎啦，兩常。咁但係所謂數據異常，如果呢一句你都可以叫解到話嘅，咁不如下次唔好叫異常啦，下次話呢，呢、這個數據好奇怪㗎，好 strange 㗎，啊呢、這個數據好特別㗎，好 special 㗎。喂，唔好玩啦，呢啲擺到明唔係解釋啦，係咪？所謂異常啦，有一啲特徵嘅，就係、是、一啲預期以外嘅偏差。導致到我哋所觀察嘅結果咧，又係遠遠同其他嘅觀察咧，其他嘅數據咧，係截然不同嘅。第二啦，就係一啲未知嘅原因，可能啦，喺做個實驗嘅設置嘅時候啊，或者某一啲嘅生物推理解釋當中咧，其實我哋做唔到個扣連嘅，因為大家照道理浸喺同一個濃度底下，你哋個數據應該都一致㗎，係嘛？三十二點幾，三十二點幾係咪？但係點解又有兩個三十七點幾，但係有一個得十點一咧？就同我哋嘅想法好唔同啦。而第三个有关于数据异常嘅特征咧，就系、是、一啲可能性嘅误差啦。呢啲误差可能系喺测量中有误差啦，记录当中有误差，可能打错字。能个学生打呢个表嘅时候打错入错数据咧，本身都想打三十七点三，点知打得好错就打到十点一咧，又或者啦，真系一啲外来嘅干扰啦。咁呢啲都係去解釋個異常嘅，就唔係得一句異常囉，就算數。咁所以 A 呢句係不盡不實。咁你問我呢個數據同其他數據係咪好唔同啊？係係好唔同，但係唔可以因為呢一句就當咗佢係一個最好嘅解釋啦。跟住 B 咯喎，佢就話呢一個十點一嘅數據呢，係應該係被刪除嘅一個誤差嚟嘅。咁呢個答案呢，都唔能夠好好咁解釋呢個十點一呢個數據，因為啦，呢件事頂多可能係一個結果嚟嘅啫，有啲誤差，喎，不如刪除咗佢啊！不過呢，其實一般而言，我哋做實驗呢，我哋唔會無啦啦就係見到有誤差呢，即刻誒唔要啦，唔要啦，好奇怪啊！呢、這個數據解唔到話，咁其實我哋會做嘅呢，就係將呢個數據真係辨識咗出嚟先。嗱，而家真係十點一，我其實我又圈低啦，話俾你聽，你個數據好似有啲事喎。有冇有乜分析下？點解呢呢一度會有個十點一突然之間咁樣跌咗落去嘅？嚇，從而啊理解下佢哋背後嘅原因啦，同埋咧對整個數據嘅影響。至於我哋會保留呢個數據啊，定係真係排除呢個數據咧，就見機遇啦。如果呢個誤差係因為擺到明係做錯嘢，例如嗰個實驗裝置，我裝置得錯咗，或者我用啲器具用錯咗，或者個器具自己功能不良，度錯嘢，我哋係可以考慮將呢個數據排除，但係一定要話俾人哋聽點解我要將呢個數據排除咗佢。又或者啦，如果呢個誤差係能夠俾到一啲啟發我哋。啊，例如咧，生物咧有啲變異性嘅，咁我哋就應該將佢保留，同埋往後咧作出一啲討論啊、分析嘅。咁所以啦，你淨係齋講呢一句十點一呢個數據咧，係應該被刪除嘅誤差嚟噶，就解釋唔到呢一件事啦。跟住去到 C 啦。
佢就話咧十點一呢個數據咧係因為個體之間嘅差異。其實呢句咧都係錯，因為啦。個體之間嘅差異，實質喺邊度睇得到呢？十五啊，十四點五啊，十五點一啊，三二點五啊，三二點四，三二點二啊，廿四、廿三點九、廿三點八。其實你係咪都見到一個相類同嘅趨勢啊？但係佢哋嘅數字係咪完全一模一樣啊？又唔係一模一樣喎、啊，係嘛？十九點八、十點三，咪已經係個體的差異啦。所以啦，佢呢、這個。跌咗落十點一喎，所以嗱個體嘅差異呢，其實係解釋咗其他嘅數據啊，佢哋相差少少，相差少少。但係啦，而家呢一個係好顯著嘅十點一，咁所以照計呢，佢應該係去一二三，佢應該係呢，去指向緊另一個特殊嘅原因。例如啦，我哋剪錯咗牙段嘅位置，就剪咗個細胞分化嘅區域。所以佢唔係一個隨機嘅個體差異啦喎，咁 C 嗰個答案我都講得咁白啦，咁答案自不然就係 D 啦，就係啦，牙段我哋剪出嚟嘅時候呢，話唔定剪錯位啊，嗰部分係分化區域嘅位置，咁所以第三個牙段説不定真係攞咗一部分分化區域，呢度呢，就考返大家啦，喂，對於個 shoot 啊，我哋有。細胞分裂嘅區域，我哋有細胞伸長延長嘅區域，同埋有細胞分化嘅區域。咁話唔定今次呢，佢係剪咗呢一忽仔，嗱真係得一忽仔少少位置呢。o k 得乜就係、是、呢個延長區域嚟嘅啫。咁佢對於個生長素嗰個生長嘅反應啊，係咪就冇咁猛烈啊？所以呢，呢、这個就最似係個解釋啦，因為啦，植物嘅分化區域呢，主要就係俾我哋去做分化，變成木質部啊、人皮部啊。咁相比起喺延長區域嘅細胞呢，佢哋嗰個延長嘅能力呢，就弱咗啦。四。So after the previous question, we talk about the data and draw the conclusion. So now we take a look at the data. Last year only. 19% of students got it correct. So, which of the following best explains the result of the shoot free in 1 ppm oxygen concentration solution? So, we can see that 1 ppm and then shoot free. The data is 10.1 mm. It is 37.1 and 37.2 mm. So, for this question, it's checking us the role of the cell differentiation in plant growth. What is the concept about that? And then the skills we need to recognize the anomalous and the variation in the data, and we need to interpret the data and the trend analysis. So first answer, the datum is anomalous. Although this statement it sounds correct, is too general, too ambiguous. Anomalous data refers to the data points deviate significantly from the expected trend or pattern in the data set. However, this statement why is so general, so ambiguous? It seems like that when you are doing the SBA, and I find out this datum deviates so much, and I ask you what's going on, and then you tell me that, oh、uh, yeah, Mr. Leung is very normal case, is anomalous. There must be something like this in the experiment, right? So you cannot convince me to. To believe in you, it's not enough to convince me to believe in you. Or,、oh, uh, is the best explanation for this data? No, no, no. If I want to make this statement to be more specific, so any features we need to talk about for the anomalous data. Anomalous data, the feature number one, unexpected deviation. The data points differ significantly from other observations. Is the description for the Anomalous data, so that's something we can see here, and then unexplained cause. The deviation cannot be explained by the experimental setup or biological reasoning, so that's something we cannot explain. But in this case, but is it the best explanation to tell you that、uh, something wrong, Mister Leung? But I don't know why. If you say you don't know why, I will tell you. You try to find out why. What's the reason behind that? There should be some reason, right? And then maybe potential error in the measurement, recording, or some external interference. So what if this statement can tell you something specific? For example, the student set up the experiment wrongly in the uh shoot fee. So that's why 
he collect this data. That's why he got this data. Yes, it could be the reason. Or the student, when he inputs the data in the Excel file, he input the wrong data. So it could be the explanation. But we cannot just say that this data is anomalous. Otherwise, so why not? Next time, I do not use these terms. I say that this data is so strange, Mr. Leung. Or this data is so special, Mr. Leung. Uh, try to convince me. No, no, no. Therefore, option A is wrong. And then option B. And then option B. This 10.1 mm data is an error which should be deleted. So it sounds that it's the follow-up reaction. Seems not like an explanation to convince someone. Oh, you, you know that it's an error. Uh, uh, no worry, I will delete it later on. We generally do not delete data with errors outright in scientific investigation. Instead, we identify it, document it, and analyze the error to understand the cause and impacts, just like here. For the 10.1 mm, assume that the data input is really correct, 10.1 mm, and then I will really find out what's the reason behind that. Rather than just delete it, what's something wrong, something wrong, delete it. No, 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 I won't do it. So how can I make the decision that inclusion or exclusion of this data, if the error is due to clear mistake, for example, equipment malfunction, it may be excluded, but this must be justified and documented. And then what if the error could provide any insight. For example, the biological variability, it should be retained and discussed in the analyst. Why we obtain such data in the whole data set? It shows some deviation away from the expected trend or pattern in the data set. Therefore, option B also wrong. And then for option C, this data 10.1 mm is due to the variation in the individual difference. So for this case, individual difference can explain the minor variation in growth rate between the suits. Means that, so we see that 15 mm, 14.5 mm, 15.1 mm, or 10 ppm, 24, 23.9, 23.8, something like this. So we can see that the data, they are not exactly the same. So it shows the individual difference. The significant difference in shoot free compared to others suggests a specific cause. For example, the cell differentiation region is cut. Therefore, this data 10.1 mm is not just random individual variation. So option C is also wrong. So after option C, you will know that option D is the answer. The shoot section is likely taken from the region of cell differentiation because for the region of differentiation, the cells are less responsive to auxin's growing promoting effect. The cells in the region of cell differentiation are specialized and have reduced the elongation capacity compared to the cell in the elongation song. So for example, the shoot, it could be cut here so there may be just a very small region for the region of elongation. Therefore, it's less responsive or even much smaller area for the region of elongation. So you can see that this reason, very specific, and then it can also explain this anomalous data.